Hello and welcome to our daily devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Adam Moline. Today we're going to take a look at the Gospel lesson that's appointed for the 12th Sunday after Trinity. It comes from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 7. Jesus returned from the region of Tyre and went through Sidon to the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Decapolis. And they brought to him a man who was deaf and had a speech impediment, and they begged him to lay his hand on him. And taking him aside from the crowd privately, he put his fingers into his ears, and after spitting, touched his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And his ears were opened. His tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. And Jesus charged them to tell no one. But the more he charged them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. And they were astonished beyond all measure, saying, He has done all things well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Dear friends in Christ, Jesus has done all things well. That's the testimony of those people living in the ancient world that witnessed the miracles that he did, including the one from today's gospel lesson where Jesus was able to take someone who was born deaf and unable to speak as a result, and to heal it all with the power of his word, saying, Be opened. And at the word of Jesus, the lips of that man were opened. He's able to speak. His ears are opened. He's able to hear. And there's no training or there's no learning the correct sounds and way to pronounce them with your lips that needs to be done. At the word of Jesus, the man is made better. It's all things, then, that Jesus does well. After all, all things are subject to his word. He is God, God in the flesh. He's been God always. He was God present at the creation. God the Father said, let there be light, and the word Jesus brought it into existence. God said, let there be all sorts of things. Everything that you and I know and see, God brought into existence by his word, by Jesus. You see, Jesus is that word, the clear word, the word of God, who took on flesh and dwelt among us, according to John's gospel. He was the word in the beginning, and the word with God who was God. Jesus does all things well because that's who he is. He can do no other thing than to do things well. He even does things well in relation to you. For you see, he takes your sin and sickness and weakness and failure upon himself, whether that be deafness or inability to speak or even sins that you have committed in your life. Christ takes them on to himself and bears them to the cross to bleed and die for you. He takes them from you in the waters of holy baptism. He dies for them in Jerusalem on Good Friday. Your sins are forgiven. Don't you believe it? And hear a different word from Jesus. A word spoken through the lips of your pastors who say, I, a called and ordained servant of the word, forgive you all of your sin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit works through the words of the preacher. Jesus brings his forgiveness through the words of the preacher. And thus, what Christ declares about you is true. What's more, Christ speaks 
the words of our text to you as well. Be opened. Be open to hear the word. Be open to receive God's gifts. Come to faith by Christ's own working through his word. The word that can heal deaf and mute men can also forgive your sins and bring you to faith in Jesus. The word does the work. We hear the word and we believe it. We're made alive by the word of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen.